Hi, welcome back. I'm Kathy. I'm Robin. And we had a request for the waffle bowl maker. Now, my first thought is... Why? <laughs> It could be fun. It could be fun, you know, put your breakfast in and have it all together. Yeah. You know, if you want to put ice cream in it. Yeah. I have a Sunday. But for me to buy something like this, I wanted to do more than one thing. Yes. And um, I guess I could show show you. Show you what it looks like. Oh, it's locked. So I have tried it out with a few things because I read the reviews and the reviews were amazing. I'm like, wow, this thing is like the best thing since sliced bread. It's like people were loving it. So I tried a few things that people said they were using it for. Some worked, some didn't. Because I think, how do you get it, you know, to hold its shape? Because you plug it in and that's it. There's no temperature. There's so you're at the mercy of this. And its name is clearly a Belgian waffle bowl maker. Right. So so because some people had tried a cookie, so that would be fun, a little cookie yeah. bowl, but how do you get it out? Yeah. And it's still warm, so it fell apart. Mm. I guess unless you just unplugged it and let it cool off and then take it, I don't know. But I didn't get that to work. But we are gonna try waffles, chocolate cake, cornbread, hash browns. browns, and a biscuit bowl that you could use with, you know, put gravy in or whatever. Mm -hmm. So Let's get to it. Let the five begin. Yay. Okay, it is plugged in, and when the red light goes off, it is ready to go. Okay, so the light has turned off, and we are going to start with the waffle mix to see how it makes. If you look inside, it has there a little is a fill line. I don't want to touch it. Yeah, very, very hot. And you don't says, spray it or anything? It says you don't have to spray it. I have sprayed it with other things, okay. and it just seems to make more of a mess. Okay. So, but the waffles do not need lubrication. <laughs> okay. Probably a bit much, but. Yeah, so just get to the line. Oh. That's funny. Set to the line. I know, but I've used it so much. All right, so now I'll just close it. Close her up. And it doesn't tell you how long. No. It's been two minutes, so we're gonna check it. Because there's not really a time. Oh. Oh. I've not had that happen before. This is a new one. So I wonder if you just like flip it on there. Okay. Yeah. Stuck. about the uh, spray. You may need it. Oh, oh, oh no, nope. you know. That was perfect. Oh, that's okay. pretty, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Voila, that was two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. So you get to serve it like that, or? You can add some eggs for your waffle bowl. And if we had some bacon, you could do that. Oh right? yeah, like some bacon syrup. in there, some syrup. Yeah. It's pretty good. You know, I used a different uh, waffle mix, so maybe that did make a difference. You know, it says you can use any mix or uh, homemade. Yeah, so it did, but, it, but I mean, this, sticking to the lid would actually, I mean, I don't know how, it would have made it easy to come out. So. It's a waffle. It's a waffle. All right. And it's super cute. Yeah. All right, All right, lights off, ready to go again. So we're gonna try that chocolate cake. It's just a box chocolate cake mix. Okay. His little latches, if you can hear that. Kind of pushes up. Did have a little leakage over here. Let's see. Ooh. Oh. It looks done. My thing is holding its shape, see? Yeah. It's hot, so, I mean, it kind of. Yeah, throw some but, ice cream but, in there. But it's not done. It's the, oh, what is, uh, well. Can you smell it? It kind of smells a little. It would burn if I left it. Well, I mean, the only true test is, is to leave it. Let me just do one more. I'll do a, maybe a little smaller. 
I'm not going to fill it. It's not going to fill up and make a bowl if you don't put enough in there. Yeah. A little. All right. Let's go three minutes. Let's just three do it. Minutes. Three minutes. Got it. All right. So it's been two minutes, but it smells like it's burning. Yeah. It does. It doesn't look like it's burning. And that does seem more done. <laughs> but see, it just like, bleh. Right. It doesn't I matter. mean, it would still be good with ice cream. I mean, don't get me wrong. Right. So we're gonna try to make some cornbread. No. And I will say, not to give any pressure, but I did get this to work. Not to give you any pressure. <laughs> so this would be good if you um, could put like chili in it. Mmm, yeah. So it's been two minutes and everything else is kind of cooking at that time frame. So I'm going to check it. Oh, oh, oh it's awesome. awesome. <laughs> that might be good. No, oh, I think it's ready. It looks good. Oh, oh. But it's See, that's the problem with this is getting bread. it out. Jeez. I just stuck a fork through it. I'm, I'm, I'm not like you. I'm not burning myself. <laughs> Obviously, to get it out. Uh, maybe we should have a smaller. Yeah. Is it done? It's done. All right, try one more with a little okay. less. But once again, you can still, still pour some chili over this. Oh, again. yeah, like cause you, you're just going to crumble it in there anyways, right? Here we go. Here goes nothing, kids. Okay, round two on my <laughs> cornbread. Been two minutes, it smells like it's, oh. That's cute. It is cute, and I'm not using a fork this time. So I stabbed through it. Yeah, it seems like there would be a better way to get these out. Oh, that cute. works. Some chili oh, and cheese. Just pour some chili. Oh. Cheese on. Aw, cute. Okay, I am impressed. So, with That's, the cornbread, go a little less. Yeah, go less or this happens. But then I, you know, I, I could have probably made that work, but it stabbed it 16 times before. Um, it tastes good, and how cute is that? So cute. Now that's cute. Have people over for, have folks over for a little chili dinner. <laughs> for, <laughs> it's football season, fall. Make your, <laughs> yeah, make, your show. make your, make <laughs> your, Make your um, tasties and homemades. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have some biscuits, some Aldi biscuits. Just for John. Yeah, just for John. <laughs> some Aldi flaky biscuits. Oh, oh okay. All right, so let's separate. All right, let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay. So it's been less than two minutes, but this is much smaller, so. Oh. Well, the it brown smells biscuit. like it's burning. Yeah. No, no, I think it's good. Let's see. Oh, It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know about the brown biscuit. I mean, well, it's pretty let's, brown, but... If you put some gravy over it, put some eggs and gravy in it. You just have to, have to, you just make gravy at home, Kathy? I make it all the time. time. All the time. Mm -hmm. I'm in the south now. I gotta make some gravy. Some sausage gravy? Tastes like biscuit? Mm -hmm. Just need some butter? I can do some pumpkin butter. Mmm, yeah. yeah. That's a little... It's borderline... Burnt? Burnt. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but that is borderline that, that burnt taste. Yeah. So maybe biscuits aren't the best. I wonder if you could do it for less time. All right. Well, we have all these biscuits. Yeah. Round two. Right. Okay. Let's check. Oh, it's buttery. I guess that's butter, mm. right? Yeah. Well, we're doing better. It's greasy. Yeah, let's see. Let's try that. <laughs> Look at that. What is that 
water? Where would water come from? I guess the biscuit. It has to be butter. Because you pour you it doesn't you look separated good. this one. Oh maybe. Know, it doesn't it just doesn't feel no. Is it but is it oily? Uh, no. Don't no. touch it. You are not allowed to touch it. <laughs> okay. It'll evaporate. So let's see this. It's done. It's it's definitely lighter than the other, so I think right. it'll have better flavor. So if you like try this lovely. Mmm. That's hot. That's good. Yeah. Okay. If you make a bunch of biscuits, so I'll just make some biscuits. Right. On a tray. I'm just really trying to find other uses for this product. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna try hash brown. I bet you could pour some uh, gravy over these. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I just whip up gravy every, every, I whip up some gravy every day. In your in cast my southern iron, house. In your cast iron skillet. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. I mean, Paula Dean. Got nothing on got you. Got nothing on me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I just kind of eyeball this. Oh, did you get that water out of there? Nope. Maybe help steam them a little bit. That's going to be pretty full. Cool. Let's see what happens. Can we shut it like you do? Oh, oh. <laughs> still can't do it. Oh my gosh. Did it well? Yeah. Okay. So it's been two minutes on the hash brown. Yeah, they need a little longer. They do need a little longer. Yeah, my hash browns tend to take forever anyway. Okay, back we go. All right, four minutes-ish. Oh, a little boy. bit longer. I'm not saying hash brown yeah, bowls are the way to go. I'm not thinking this is gonna, I mean, it's gonna take forever. Third cycle of two minutes. Oh boy. Okay. I think we need it. Well, we're gonna, they're, it's, starting they're getting. To, starting to. Yeah. Hold. Two more minutes. Okay. Round four. <laughs> Eight minutes. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. It looks like a nest. Yeah, it looks like a little nest. But I don't think those potatoes are cooked. Oh, of course you just go right in. And I don't think the ones in the center are cooked. Aren't they mushy? Yeah. I don't know what the reviews. People are making hash brown bowls. So I said, All right, I'm going to try it. Uh, they're a little too mushy for me. A little too mushy for my liking. So, I mean, if it's going to take that long in right. this thing, I'm just going to spread them out thin in a skillet. Right. Okay, so the Presto Belgium Waffle Bowl Maker yes. Waffle. It is. Um, those are our successes. Those are our failures. Ah. So. Not that these taste bad. Right. They just don't look You could just pretty. crumble this cornbread. I mean, right. you could, it's still edible, but... So I guess the point is, is it worth having an extra waffle iron for the bowl? For the bowl. Because really with a regular waffle iron, I've, in the past on the channel we've done stuff in a waffle, regular waffle maker, like the chocolate right. cake. Right. Uh, so is it really worth having a cute little bowl? It just depends on your need. <laughs> Me? would be a want. <laughs> Well, if you tend to say, wow, I wish this was a bowl <laughs> a lot. Yeah, because I say that you. all the time. This is for you. Right? You need a bowl for your gravy. Your gravy bowl. Get your gravy bowl. <laughs> um, but so. It, it's cute, but is yeah. it worth? How much was it? It was nineteen ninety nine. $20 for a gadget. Amazon. So, I mean, if you want to gift it to someone. Um, yeah. You know the cornbread bowl that was that was fun, that was yeah, cute. That was oh we ate oh it. you totally put the syrup on the cornbread. Oh this is the cornbread. Yeah. I did. Sorry, this is the cornbread. It's supposed to have chili. Here's the <laughs> syrup. <laughs> Whoopsies. So it turned out cute. It held its shape, and like I said, other stuff I tried, yeah. like the cookie, it did not hold its shape. Um, it, it would be better if you could adjust the temperature. Yeah. So it could bake more evenly. Yes. I'm not gonna say it's terrible. It's not. Oh, it's not. It works. It works. It, it definitely works for what it says it's gonna work for, and we found some other ways that it works. Um, 
So, no, it's not terrible. It just, is it something that you would use or not, I guess. Yeah. But if you, you read the comments, once. you're going to think you need it. If you read all the comments on Amazon, you're going to think, oh my gosh, how about I live without this? Yes. <laughs> you're going to need it. But I wasn't impressed as the people on Amazon. Yeah. But it was still good. I mean, yeah. still tastes good. However you make it, it still tastes good. So if you have one of these or another way to make waffle bowls, I don't know <laughs> what that would be, uh, let us know in the comments below. And if you like our video, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.